Hi everybody. Um, hi YouTube. This is Melissa Loves Orchids and today we're going to be doing a mounting. I've never done a mounting on cork but I finally got my two baby um, Catlias, Catlia hybrids that I'm going to put on here and I'm going to do it on film even though I don't know what I'm doing. I just saw a couple videos and then I got an idea and I don't know this looks like it might be able to hold more of these than just two but that's okay. My plan is to take this some kind of tool. Don't ask me what it is. I don't know. I found it in my husband's toolbox and the hammer and kind of make a hole. Then I was going to use the wire to go through. You're probably going to see this in fast forward because I'm sure it's not very exciting to watch me poke a hole and all that. But anyways, here goes nothing. I'm going to start by making the holes. I'm thinking one here and one here and I can put one of these right here in this cute little pocket. It looks like somebody, something, something belongs there. So I'm going to start by making a little hole. Here we go. Maybe if I would have gotten the, what do you call that thing? The drill. Okay. One down. Oh my gosh, I didn't even need to hammer. By the way, today is the last day of school for us. So it's a very happy day, even though it looks dreary and um, soggy and rainy and it's thundering behind me. I don't care, it's the last day of school and I'm happily doing this little project. Hopefully it comes out nice. This is not easy. Maybe I'm doing it the hard way. Maybe some of you are like, oh, you could have done it much easier with a drill, but next time. If something happened, it would be pretty funny. So I'm gonna remember, I'm gonna remember where these are. Okay, so this is gonna go on this side, so I know who to. Okay, here she comes out of the pot, tiny, tiny little roots. Oh, I hope she does well. I'm gonna let her get a little bit of water. I also have some, some of this, spag moss. I know this, probably isn't the best one. I just got it from Home Depot, but I had another one that I liked better, but I didn't have time to order it. Um, it was from, I think, New Zealand, and that one was really nice. But I don't really care for moss for a lot of things, but I think for this, they need to have a little bit of moisture so they don't dry out. Okay. Oh my gosh, is it gonna rain or what? How much of this do I need? I don't know. Better cut longer rather than shorter, but then I can cut the excess later. So I'm thinking, my idea is put it through here. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna need to voice over in a second because straighten it out, put it through here while she is soaking over there. Hopefully I don't poke my eye out. Right, I'm gonna see if I can pick up. By the way, look at my shirt. I just got this from Amazon. How cute. Yes. I did 
did it. I did it. Guys, this is not easy. I'm sure I'll eventually find a better way. I don't know if you can see it, but I have put it in through here, out through the back, kind of like a sewing thing. Now I'm going to attempt to put the little orchid here with some moss. And that's it. Tighten it up. Hopefully the rest should be simple. I have that moss that I showed you. It's soaking here, getting a little a little wet and um, yeah then at the in the back I'll put the uh, now I don't know if I should put the moss behind it or on top of it or all around it and I've always seen when they do this they squeeze out the excess <laughs> everywhere no not everywhere but they squeeze out the excess I don't want to disturb the roots that much because I've heard the more you disturb the roots, you know, it's a setback for them and the catlias will take forever. So there she is. She's tiny. She's adorable. She's cute. She looks super healthy. I can't tell which is the new side, which is the old side. I mean, she's that tiny, but I'm just going to put some moss all around. Just kind of wrap her up like a little cocoon and put her in that spot where I think she looks like she belongs. Now, the tightening, let's see. At first I wanted to do this with a zip tie, but then I thought maybe better with this. Okay, I don't wanna do too tight. So far, so cute. <laughs> Definitely too much wire, but it's okay. I'm just gonna twisty. And I'm not gonna do it so tight that I'm suffocating her. I know she's young. I don't know why I'm calling it a her, but that's what it feels like. Oh, how cute is that? where the hole puncher is so I'm just gonna do it the easy way I'm gonna probably staple the tag on so that I know who's who that's it cut off the excess look at what it looks like in the back how cute is that she's snug with her little moss I love it so now I'm gonna do the next one should have been soaking this is the taller one, then I'll probably put the other one a little lower. So I'll see you back when I do the holes because that seems to be a mission and a half. So I'll see you back in a little bit. And we're back. And we're back. So she's been soaking a little bit so that the roots are a little bit pliable and I can adjust them and put them where I think they should go. It's still thundering. And I found a new growth here on the back. So I'm thinking I'm gonna put the new growth out so it has room if it wants to grow out. And it has that space again. By the way, the second time around is a lot easier. And now I'm thinking that I might have to go back for a couple more because this cork has a lot of space really nice. It's kind of peaceful. Knowing that it's the last day of school, it's the first day of vacation, we have a little trip coming up next week. I have time to like relax, pack. Okay, so just 
tie this like I did the other one, we should be home free. So I want her to be secure, but I don't want it to be too tight that I damage any of the roots. Just do a couple twists. Maybe I could put a little tiny um, fowl here because I have a little tiny fowl. What do you need? Hold on one second. I'm almost done. So a little tiny fowl here. Um, definitely has more room. I don't need to buy the exact same one. Yes. I will come inside. Don't worry about me. Two seconds. And I'll be done. Then. So beautiful. You like it? Uh, I think you can put more. <gasps> you think I can put more? That's what I just said. I am going to put more. That's, that does it. I am going to put more. You definitely think, I definitely think there's space for more. And then, you know what? Maybe a variety of different ones, little small ones, will make this look really cute. Then, I bought a hook, kind of like this one simple, kind of like this, then I'm going to, that one I'm probably going to need the, the drill or whatever. I don't want to be hammering into this thing with the uh, plants already on, but I'll put the hook on and then I can hang that like this or maybe two, I don't know, I haven't decided. Maybe a nice rope, that'll be interesting, I know there's rope in the garage, um, something like that. So that's it guys. What do you think? Should I add more? Should I leave it like that? I hope I hope you guys can like this video and subscribe. Um, I'm having fun making the videos. I am an orchid newbie, but very, very quickly watching a lot of videos and um, learning a lot. And Oh, by the way, this is what it's going to look like one day, supposedly. This one like this and this one. <laughs> this so pretty maybe I could put a whole bunch of um, different pink ones or shades of pink and fuchsia on here that'll look gorgeous and what I like about this situation is that if if for any reason there's weather really bad weather like hurricane or some kind of a tropical storm which happens often in Miami then I can just carry my little cork inside and they'll be safe that's the only thing that's holding me back from putting you know the ones that i love the most outside on trees i know that there's other people that that's how they do it they put everything on on a tree and that's how nature intended yes 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 but i'm not there yet i'm at the point where i still feel like i, I want them to be in the safest location and for me to be able to just you know even my vandas god forbid anything I have a lot of vandas. I can just grab them. See a lighting? I'm going to head in very soon. See? So even my vandas, um, I envision myself, it's hurricane season starting already, bringing them in. I'm not going to be, you know, inside watching through the hurricane windows going like this. Oh, I hope they're fine. No, I'm going to, I am literally going to bring everything in. Even if I have to put them in the garage, hang the vandas in the shower. Whatever, that's my idea for now. So, anyways, thank you for joining me. I'll see you next time. Bye, um, Ricky. I know I'm coming right now. I'm done. No, no. Say bye, everybody. Bye. You wanna come say bye? Come say bye. <gasps> okay, don't. It's lightning. I'll be in in just a minute. Bye, everybody. I hope you like and subscribe. Ah, like and subscribe. Miami weather. It was sunny. It was sunny literally half an hour ago. Half an hour ago, it looked beautiful. And before that, there was a storm. But then, you know, that's what happens, on and off. Maybe I'll stop 
go in, clean up, and in 10 minutes, it'll be gorgeous. Like and subscribe. Thank you guys for joining me.